I would like to say howdy doody y'all. It's me, Sharon Lee. I'm back here. It's been a while, I know, but there's been so much going on. And you get out of there, little brat. I'm gonna keep the doors closed. I got a puppy and she goes right for the shoes and right for the panties. I'll tell you what. Anyway, I've done so much. I've done my floors. I've done bought beds refurbished. I've refurbished dressers. I've had marble tops made where I work. Oh my God, I love where I work. I'm so blessed. And I have just painted things and redone things and this is my bed and I'm, I feel like a little fairy princess. This is so cool. So there it is. And yeah, my little fairy princess bed. Um, and so I love it. I love it. It's so me. But anyway, um, I'm actually here about like everything that I've been doing because yes, I do stuff like that. And I also do stuff like Caulking my bathroom. I don't know if you stay tuned with my house, my nightmare that they stuck me with. Well, you know what? I've concluded a year and a half later. I've saved my house. I have dug ditches. I said, man, I'll dig a freaking moat around my house before I let this bitch sink. She ain't sink and there'll be a moat. I will build a moat and well, I will say, you cannot tell me what I can't do on my property because I'm going to save my house. Amen. Praise the Lord. A mother. Hmm. Can't take that away. <laughs> anyway, so I have learned so much and I've done so much and it's just made me stronger. It's made me better. And I really realized recently, I looked up and said, Lord, this house was meant for me. You know why? Because I'm going to fix it. I'm a fixer. I'm not a cover upper and, you know, dish it off to somebody upper, turn it over, stick it to them. That's not me. That's, that's not integrity. That's not a good moral. That's not good something to live by. And, you know, that just brings negative energy. And I'm sorry, I like to spread the love <laughs> and truth and integrity and, and, and all kinds of good things that I can. But I'll tell you, I won't be a wimp and I'll snuff out anything that shows what's going to happen. So anyway, I have concluded that with all that I've done, oh, check this out because I'm doing another manly job, but it's better when you do it with this. You know, don't, don't do a big job with this because I don't know how far you have it. Digging holes is a lot of fun, especially when it's raining. Oh, you've got to share that. I have done so much. It is so much fun now. I'm like, my purpose was digging holes, damn it. So anyway, here I am. Um, the house was shifting when all the water was draining into the house where they tried to say that uh, whatever it was, it was fixed and they lifted probably a, 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 a one foot by one foot um, um, little hole. Okay, so anyway, bullshit, total bullshit. Anyway, I've cut down trees, taken out limbs. Oh, you have no idea. But stay tuned and I'll share it with you and I will help save you from anything else but this house really needed me and I did it effectively. I had house lifters um, companies come in and they were gonna lift. Um, excuse me. I had one stand back. I swear to God, that was a true story. I had one stand back in the living room. Didn't do any measuring or anything. And I got a big living room. We'll go walk around and see if you want to. It says, oh yeah, it's gonna cost about $10,000 because it's like this big. And I'm like, really? What the hell? Hell no, that ain't happening. Oh no, man, panic mode goes in, so. Panic realistic. Anyway, whole bunch of crap went on, but I'm like, no way. I had another plumber come in, do a scope, told me, well, this flange was on backwards. This spring, when I don't have to worry about, I mean, here I could take a chance on a weekend when we're in the 50s and the 60s, but then that next couple of days, Wednesday through the next Friday, we're at 29 is the high. I mean, because that's where we live, I'm taking a chance of, what if this thing doesn't work the way I want it to? Um, 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 stumble and find out, live and learn kind of thing. So I'm doing that. I'm like, when I got this house, I'm like, Lord, I mean, I'm like, what have I got to lose? What do I have to lose? Not a fucking thing. Guess who's got something to lose? The bank. If I do something, this shit goes up and I'm gone. Guess what? I don't know. I don't exist anymore. What the fuck do I care, right? But they are still here and their place is gone. And whatever. For sticking me with it. But whatever. No, let's pray in Jesus' name. That isn't what happens. 
I'm not trying to say that's gonna happen, but it can. Lots of things can happen. The world can end tomorrow. Um, but anyway, let's hope that it doesn't. <laughs> so seriously, I have done so much. So in the spring, this handle, when we first got here, I couldn't get it off. I, it's still really hard if and when anybody ever comes over. They're like, how's it work? How's it work? You know, even on the other bathroom, I have to do that one. And, oh, yes, I am doing it myself. I have disassembled twice, put together, put in first, the heat element second, the thermostat slash sensor over heat sensor that will shut off the dryer. Um, um, and, and shut off the heat. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, I'm pretty impressed with myself, too. Anyway, so, I have dug up carpets, dug up, uh, 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 wooden, um, um, patios to cover up a big slab crack. Got that cleaned out, lifted up, rid of, filled in, got rid of all the bugs and the pests and this and that. I put diatomaceous earth and spread it around in my attic and I haven't had any bugs my second year. When I first came here, man, I had wasps coming through my, my vents, you know, meaning which, hey, they're upstairs. I'm going to go inside your vents. So, wow. I put the diatomaceous earth. I blew it around with a blower, a leaf blower up there because you can't really walk around and boom, price days. We're free of bugs. Have all the rugs lifted up. Praise Jesus. We're, we're, we're free of bugs. Praise Jesus. Um, so, yeah, everything I've gone through has made me this way. So, I love it. If and when I ever see a bug or a spider, because we have a recluse out here. I still have two rooms I want to tear rugs up out of. I want to see it. Everything's in a clear bin, you know. Everything's in a clear waterproof, airproof, this and that proof bag if you're going to store it. I don't clutter. I don't keep anything I'm not using. Majority of the time, I don't need it if I've got that much crap. I just don't want it. And I give it away. I don't need to sell it. I just want it gone. So I'm working on my house, and it's all in progress. And praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. I have stopped the cracking. Oh, praise Jesus. When I came here, you didn't see that. When they advertised this house, you didn't see that. You didn't see that until you see this later that it was all a cover-up. This was happening. They didn't fix it. They had the water draining into the perimeter of the house that turns into sand when it gets wet. And the house is sinking. You've got the chimney places going down. I've had to do drenches. Man, my house is full of drenches just coming away from it. I will build a moat on my property if I have to. <laughs> I don't care where it goes, just go the hell away from my house. So praise Jesus, with all the effort digging holes this, I, look at all this effort, I'm not bitching, man. I don't worry, I'm just out there doing what I need to do to protect what I love and I have invested in and I shall not be screwed. I refuse to be screwed. I refuse to be screwed. And I'm going to do my best to anyway, and praise the Lord. And I'm going to do it without having to, like, put myself in debt forever. If I have to, that, I have nothing to lose. I would dig a hole and lift that shit myself. But we can patch it. Because I'm not moving. I'm living here. I love my house. I'm staying here. I want to retire. I want to live here until I'm not living no more. Okay? And if the world turns to shit like some of the places on the earth, I'm getting me a junkie and we're going to get high and die. I ain't fucking sticking around for that shit. Fuck that. When life's over and it ain't worth trying anymore, I'm done. I did a great job. I raised kids and they turned out pretty awesome. And you got to watch out who you leave your kids with, man, because they can ruin your kids like that. Anyway, so that's me. And this is how we do the man job thing because this house is shifted. Oh, there we are. The house is shifted. So this came apart. And I'm like, you know, I guarantee you with like how this is. That, and I've stopped the cracking, by the way. I used to crack, 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 crack. And everything was cracking. You see those cracks. You're just peering, you know. I've done videos and it stopped because I just went around looking at my house and feeling it. And I call it the Lord spoke me and said, sure, and it's there. And so I get it away from that get away. It's like quicksand. And those rocks weigh a lot. So those rocks are weighing down your quicksand. Share and get rid of it. So we did. Praise Jesus. And it's working. And um, so, yeah, we're going to recalk with a drink in our hand. And doing a video once in a while to say, hey. If this happens to you, you just DYI it on YouTube and you can do it. You can save yourself.
yourself money. You can save yourself scams. You can save yourself so much trouble. Because that plumber that tried it, which they fixed the flange under the insurance thing that probably the sellers were advised to have. So I had to pay $75 for him to come and fix the flange, which was probably the whole case of that falling so quickly. Because the idiots before me didn't put it on correctly. Whoa. You better get an inspector when you're buying a house for the first time or any time to check your flanges. Check, check your water, check your plumbing, check your electrical. Check, I mean, check your foundation for sure. Uh, just seriously. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. And if you got to do it more than twice, tell them fuck off I ain't buying a house. And watch them pay for it. Those bitches need that money. That's all I'm saying. Um, but, um, back to the, the good stuff. Um, so I saved it and I figured we're going to caulk it for now because I've stopped it from shifting. I'm living here forever, uh, right now and it's nice. We're going to do patch up. Check this out. I'm, you know, because I've watched my dad's, I have two dads, unfortunately one passed away. Um, but I've, I've watched and I've watched them do stuff and I've watched mechanics. I've watched friends and this and that guy friends do mechanics stuff, this and that. So I'm pretty motherfucking inclined in a lot of shit. And I love it because I'm pretty independent. <laughs> so anyway, with all the ideas, um, we're going to patch that and guess what I'm going to do? Guess, 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 guess what? Because this is already cut at the angle on the door. And it's gonna like have to be risen up because it's like it's come down because like you can't even close the door anymore when the, when the house had shifted. And this is the things that happen when your house shifts. Okay.